Welcome to the nighttime episode of a Jurassic World unboxing video. What could we be doing this time, you wonder? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's got something to do with eggs. No, it's not Kinder Eggs. Introducing the new ba -ba -da -ba, Jurassic World Dominion Slime Eggs. Because <laughs> I just hate myself. <laughs> No, Max, come back! No! <laughs> yes! Dinosaurs in slime! And we have all but two of them! I was with Whitney, and I saw them, I went, oh, I should get those. And Whitney said, no, don't. But I was with a friend. When Whitney left, my friend turned to me and said, think of the content. I bet I bought all of them. <laughs> Look at the wrap. It's beautiful. He's got like a tiny little head like at the very top. That's what it's supposed to look like. We get normal T-Rex, this T-Rex. So yeah, well, here's a little spin of the entire egg. Do -do 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 -do. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So, the difference with this egg, we have blue slime as well as if we look at the back of the box. Okay, well, have a look at the actual box, I suppose. You should probably do that. What does it say on it? You've got the classic down here where you can uh, get metallic dinosaurs. Unfortunately, not as cool as the other ones, which was like silver, bronze, and gold. I think there's a red one as well. And if you look at the back of the box, you've got to be power wrapped on the side. You've got, what, what we got? There we go. We've got Giga, Parasaurolophus, Dilophosaur, uh, T-Rex, unfortunately the same T-Rex as last time, they haven't even changed the sculpt. Boo! You stink! A Kylosaur, a Trosseraptor, what, Ghost? We got a Trosseraptor Tiger, Therizinosaurus, Stegimoloch, Carnotaurus, Spinosaurus, because why not? And Mosasaurus. But you can also get some rare ones. You can get the limited edition Giganotosaurus, an ultra rare Pyroraptor. I know somebody who's also bought these, and um, it seemed like the rare ones they got more of. And I'm thinking because it's cheaper, because it's only one paint application, you literally just spray the model and it's done. Whereas all the other ones you have to actually do, it costs more. So really, you think it's rare, it's actually cheaper for them. It's a win-win, because you get the one that's supposed to be rare, you're like, oh, I got a rare one. How about we waste no further time, because we've got to get packed and open an egg. I'm hoping that they're going to be better than last time, because last time, the slime had all came out and then the slime was all watery and it was just an absolute right nightmare to clear up. So cross our fingers that this time. <laughs> oh, they put it in a baggie. It says Biosyn slime on it as well. That's a nice little touch. Oh, it's not a Biosyn logo. I can open all the eggs and not have slime everywhere. We're not gonna do that, of course we're not. Let's open every bag of slime, shall we? <laughs> Whitney, like, no, please. Let, right, we need to try out at least one bag of slime, Whitney. I'm allowed. Yeah. Whitney says yes. Please be good. At least this time, hopefully the slime will have stayed in the state that it was put into the bag, I suppose. Oh, look at it. It's got like a metallic dust in it. Oh, I remember why I didn't like doing this. Oh, oh no. But look how cool that looks. Wow. You want to try it, Whitney? Oh, you ready? Are you ready for it? Do not like it. I'll give it more points. The slime actually looks really nice and the consistency is not too bad. It's more liquidy, but it does look cooler. Oh, now that's a big bit of cook <laughs> Look, it tried to get out. It made a big slash in it. Warning, plastic bag can be dangerous to avoid danger of suffocation. Keep this bag away from babies and children. Oh, plastic bag's tugging. <laughs> Happy days, we got a freaking Dilophosaurus. Uh, which way does his tail go? Get a good zoom in on that face. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's an accurate representation of the uh, animatronic we've seen. <laughs> what you would say in the, in the industry, a bit off model, uh, <laughs> that Dilophosaurus. But the colorings in the paint uh, application looks great for what it is. Now, die in slime. Oh, yeah. More pop and lock dinosaurs coming soon. Oh, these are called pop and lock. I popped and locked in their tail. Ah. 
You've got all of the ones that we listed before on the back of the thing. But on the other side, this way, look at those. We have a Trosseraptor, we have a Metallic, a Green Spinosaurus, Dimetrodon, Quetzalcoatlus, and a Metallic there is an Asaurus. It's a Baryonyx mechanical arm. Ooh, from those dinosaur ring fights, I presume. Oh, oh, also, we mustn't forget, we have said Pog. And on the back, it's five foot, weighs 900 pounds, six feet killer rating, and four eye intelligence. Right, well, enough of that, box. Don't need that anymore. All right, so let's have a speed round and open all the eggs, shall we? Yeah, there he is. Who's a good boy? Yes, he is. He's a cutie. He's a cutie, cutie, cutie. Yeah, I got in touch with the people who make this and they were like, oh yeah, we'll send you some. What's your address? And I sent them my address and then they just like never sent me anything. So I basically just doxed myself to the company. <laughs> or maybe they saw my videos and went, this guy doesn't give us good publicity, never mind. <laughs> maybe that's why Universal never got in touch with me. Hard to say, I don't know. <laughs> Egg number two, hey look, slime, who cares about that? Well, it didn't really pop and lock. But there's Rexy and Rad, who actually stands by themselves, as well as Rexy's little bog tag. And on the back, it's basically better than Dilophosaurus in every stab. Who didn't see that coming? No, Dilophosaurus took him down. Taking down by an intense blow. It was an intense blow. Ooh, Carnotaurus. <laughs> And there's the Poggy for toast. It's better than Dilophosaurus in everything, especially intelligence, by one. And I think it likes deserts, God knows. <laughs> Number four! <laughs> it's Therizinosaurus! Oh, ho, 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 one I actually wanna have a look at. Oh, yes, and it almost, sta it does stand by itself. There is a little bit of blue paint on the head, as well as the eye and the pupil being done. And if you look at the feet down here, there's a little back claw. That looks really nice. And it's quite, you know, for the tiny little thing that it is, it looks very similar to what we see in Dominion and the rest of the promotional stuff. Yes, look, family, look at them. There is an Asaurus Pog. Um, apparently it's the <laughs> stupidest in the lot so far. <laughs> so far, no duplicates. If you want the whole set, buy the whole box. <laughs> Limited edition. Blah, 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 blah. Look how shiny that is. Like again, these are the best things you can get with this set because the model looks beautiful. If I can get my big fingers out of the way. <laughs> Limited edition, Giganotosaurus, and you know, just not to play favorites with anything, we we'll give it pretty much all of the stats. That's the most intelligent, most ferocious of anything we've ever seen, basically. Look at that, woo! Right, what are we gonna get? Are we still? Oh yes, another new one! Friggin' Stiggy Moloch, who's been decapitated. I mean, it was so smart, it headbutted walls. Its, its legs are a little bit intertwined. It's a, it's a bit unfortunate. It's got a, it's got a kank in one of its legs. Oh, here's its poggy woggy. It is actually the same intelligence as a Dilophosaur. Will we be able to not get a double, or is it gonna start now? And it is no, we're still going. You know what? The paint. Ooh, ooh. I really like the teeth in that one. They're so in detail. Look at those teeth, there's so many different teeth. However, its eye makes it look like it's a bit shocked. It's like, oh! And then, here's its poggy woggy. So we can flip this over, and apparently it's it's really ferocious. But Giga is still more ferocious than a freaking 50 million foot mosasaur, which I think makes no sense. But hey ho, this is Jurassic we're talking about. Nothing makes sense. Chris Pratt can survive a volcanic flow and freezing temperatures and still be fine, because he's Star Lord. So I'll make a check, so we got the limited edition Giga. We got half of them and no doubles. A Trosseraptor would be cool. Parasaurolophus would also be cool. Or the super rare, what is it? It's the ultra rare Pyroraptor, I called it. Oh, 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 ooh, oh dear. It looks like it's already been covered in. Oh my God, it looks like it's just, <laughs> it's just orange. But I assure you that look, you can see in the, in the shadow, that's more of what its actual color is. But th then it just looks really, really red. I don't know what happened with this thing. We're talking about a pyroraptor here, something that should be very intelligent. See, that's kind of what it more looks like on the pod than the lighting's doing it some weird 
surface here. Anyway, the back of the pog shows that it likes frozen temperatures, but it is the most intelligent I think we've ever had. So far, we've got all of the ultra giga rares, whatever they were, limited edition and ultra rare, that's it. Oh yes, okay, we have the actual giga this time and not a ultra or limited rare edition giga. There it is, the titular dinosaur from Dominion. Paint applicator got a little bit too trigger happy with the white. And, and now most of its schnoz is covered in white. Kind of similar, except for it just has a cleaner paint application because it, you know, doesn't have a million and one teeth. And the uh, ferocity and the intelligence are exactly the same as they are in the limited edition, so it makes no difference which one you have. But it's nice to see the Giga in its actual color scheme. I want the Spinosaur because it looks like it has the worst paint scheme and I want to have a look at that. It is one of the Atrociraptors. I think this is Ghost, I'm assuming? There you go, lovely. Look at that. That looks really cool. I've always been a fan of like the white raptor with a red eye. And not only does it stand perfectly, but it looks really nice. The only problem is I think they went a bit too crazy with the wash. Cooled it a little bit with the dirty down stuff or the, the sort of uh, ink that they put on because it's kind of caught everywhere. It's made it look a tiny bit too dirty. I think it would have looked great if it was just a little bit, a little bit thinner on that, but hey-ho. So here is its pog, the Atrociraptor Ghost. It likes uh, long walks on the beach and sunshiny days, as well as it being very intelligent, but not as intelligent as the Atro... Pyroraptor. And there you have it. That is all of the eggs minus two from an entire box and none of them were duplicates. Now it could be a case of I just got incredibly lucky and maybe I did. You only get about 12 in a, in a pack and there's about 14 you could get in total. So the chances we didn't even get one single duplicate seeing as the box can't give you the entire set unless maybe they just trade out two of them for the ultra rares. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing and maybe that's why we only got 12. That was the new Jurassic World Dominion captives. The models are quite nice. I mean, some we've seen before. I think the T-Rex is a repeat. The Carnotaurus is a repeat. Um, but there's a lot in here that we haven't seen before. The Para is a completely new mold that I've, I've seen on the package. The Atrociraptor is new. There is an Asaurus. Uh, the Dilophosaurus has a new paint scheme, I think. Giga as well. Metallics are looking nice. Well, maybe not the Paraptor. Um, the Pogs are good. And more importantly, why you would want to get this other than any, if you had to buy any captives. Heaven to Betsy, you had to buy any buy this one because the slime is actually wrapped. So your kid can open it and before he even gets a chance, you can just put that in the bin and just say, oh, I lost it. Oh dear, maybe it didn't come with it. <laughs> and I, not only that, but the slime actually looks pretty cool because they put some weird like dust in it, which makes it look quite uh, metallic and nice. And it contrasts very well with most of the dinosaurs. It doesn't come in off in bits. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. <laughs> Bye-bye. We did it, Winnie! You did it! You can go to bed now! Yay! <laughs>